All right, so today we're going to be learning about Punnett squares. Just as a review, we're going to say that, again, that everyone has two, alle two alleles. One from mom, one from dad. You can't have more than two, you can't have less than two, just two. Also, we know that dominant alleles come in capital letters and recessive alleles come in lowercase letters. We're going to be using eye color for this specific one, and remember that dominant is brown and recessive is blue. So, we're going to say that mom has brown eyes, and dad has blue eyes. Mom is going to be a carrier, so she is going to have a big B for brown, oops, and a little B because she's a carrier. Dad has blue eyes, so he's going to have little b and little b, both recessive. So, to start with a Punnett square, you're going to have a square. You're going to cut it in half vertically and horizontally. You can. We're going to have mom on the top of it and dad on the side. You can switch them. It doesn't matter as long as you have both. So mom, like we said, is brownish. She's going to have a big B and a little B. Just we have those two rows. And dad's recessive, so we have little B and little B for those two rows too. So with a Punnett square, you're taking what's given at the top and distributing it down and across. So for mom, we're going to distribute it down. So we have this big B here. So we're going to draw a big B here and big B here. Carry it down. We have a little B here. We're going to have a little B here, little B here. Dad, we have a little b, little b across, little b across, little b here, little b across, little b across. So, all of our four possibilities are big b, little b, big b, little b, little b, little b, little b, little b. So we're going to translate this onto the next slide. So, big b, little b, big b, little b, little b. Little b, little b, little b. And the Punnett squares we're going to be doing are just going to have two boxes and two boxes. So we know that big B and little b, big B is dominant, so this is going to be brown eyes. This is going to be brown as well. Little b, little b, that is going to be blue. Little b, little b, going to be blue. So there's one, two, three, four possibilities. So, if I were to ask a question like, what is the possibility, what is the chance for this couple to have a baby with brown eyes? There's one, two, three, four options. How many are brown? One, two. Two over four, we know that as 50%. 50% chance for brown eyes. What if I ask, what are the chances of blue eyes? So, still four possibilities. Just because we found out for brown eyes doesn't mean those go away. So, for blue eyes, there's four possibilities. One, two, two is 50%. So this couple has a 50% chance for blue eyes and a 50% chance for brown eyes. So if I were to ask a question like, is this couple, do they have a greater chance of having a child with blue eyes than they do brown eyes? The answer would be no. They have the same 50% and 50%. Make sure that this is lined up, this is lined up, this is lined up, and this is lined up, and you're good to go.